This video will demonstrate the appropriate use of the auto linearity option in ModFit LT. We define linearity as the observed ratio between the DNA diploid G2M and G0G1 positions. Generally, this ratio is about 2, but it can, under normal circumstances, deviate from this ideal value. It can be tedious to manually determine the best linearity factor on a sample by sample basis, but ModFit LT makes it easy and reproducible. Let's see how it works. We'll start with a typical DNA histogram, one of the sample files, and do an auto analysis. Note that the G2G1 ratio is reported as 2.00, the program's default linearity value. Linearity affects cell cycle analysis in several ways. By default, ModFidelt 4.1 uses the internally stored linearity setting to position the G2M in the fitting process. For example, if a G1 peak is found close to channel 50, the G2M position would be expected to be found close to channel 100 with a linearity setting of 2. If the linearity setting were 1.9, the G2M expected position would be close to channel 95. The second major effect is on the aggregation model component. This model component assumes, for example, that doublet positions are twice singlet positions and triplet positions are three times the singlet position. ModFidelT uses the linearity setting to transform the data prior to creating the theoretical shape of the aggregate distribution. Thus, linearity also affects the positions of computed aggregates and affects the model fit and the S-phase estimates. How does autolinearity determine the best fit? It does a series of analyses from a low value to a high value and keeps track of the resulting RCS values. The lowest RCS value represents the best fit of the data. It then does the final analysis with the best linearity value. How important is the linearity setting in estimating S-phase fraction? It can change the S-phase estimate significantly, as shown in this example graphic. A non-optimal linearity setting results in inaccurate aneuploid S-phase estimates, the appropriate value having been determined to be 1.98. Let's open a file for which the default linearity value of 2 is too high. Autoanalysis of this file actually looks pretty good but let's see what autolinearity will do. First, note that the aneuploid 1 S phase is reported as 11.66% and the RCS is a respectable 1.482. We can see that the aneuploid 2 G2M model component appears shifted to the right of the apparent G2M peak and an aggregate peak is also shifted a little to the right. Click the Autolinearity button on the main toolbar to trigger the Autolinearity Analysis sequence. It's actually very fast. After it has completed this analysis, it refits the histogram with the optimized linearity setting. For this example, the optimized linearity setting is 1.94. The aneuploid S phase was 11.66% and is now reported as 7.67% and the RCS is even lower at 1.395. Let's look at a file for which a linearity value of 2.00 is too low. After auto-analysis, this aneuploid 1 S phase is shown as 16.37% and the RCS is 2.561. After doing auto-linearity, the optimal linearity factor is shown to be 2.04. The aneuploid 1 S phase is now 16.93% and the RCS is lower at 2.528. Experienced DNA analyzers will recognize that this file is still not done. With the on-scale data that we see, we should now do a two-cycle manual analysis of this file. Manual analysis is covered in another video tutorial. As you see, autolinearity is available for manual analysis too. Thanks for watching.